Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to build a professional a Squarespace website in minutes. So this is just a beginner friendly tutorial and I'll just go through the step-by-step -step guide on how to do so. So getting started with Squarespace is very simple. So just make your way to the squarespace.com website and you should be introduced with this screen. Now, if you already have an account, go ahead and log in. If not, go ahead and select the Get Started button. Now, this will just redirect you to creating a um, more of a website. Uh, you can see here, it'll uh, give give us a step one out of three. Um, so what is our site about? We're just going to stick with marketing agency. We'll just say digital marketing. And we'll go ahead and select next. So. It'll ask us what our uh, what we want the website to pretty much do. Do, you want, do we want it to uh, sell memberships? Do we want to publish blog or other media? We'll probably uh, do that. Um, we will probably showcase work and expertise. Um, we'll probably sell our services and offer a contact form. Uh, also, yeah, uh, pretty much happy with that. We just want to keep it nice and simple since it is just a digital marketing agency website. Now we want to go ahead and select. So step three would be choosing and browsing a template or building with AI. So building with AI is fairly new actually. Um, so it used to be where it's just text. Now you could do the actual uh, blueprint of building a custom uh, website. Uh, we'll go ahead and browse the templates first and I'll showcase that to you guys. Um, I normally prefer to go through the template right because you can go ahead and uh, change and uh, you know, make those changes later on down the line. So here we have a list of different types of uh, websites. So some of them are really, really nicely designed, especially uh, by the Squarespace team, as you can see. Um, but usually, if um, so, the hard thing about this is because these are named; they're named like uh, WordPress templates as well. So it can be a little bit hard to find uh, what you're looking for, especially since we're looking for a digital marketing one. So what we could do is we'll go and uh, create a website using AI. So what you could do here is select build your own template. So you can see here that we can generate text with AI. We could choose our colors and fonts, add pages that we need and design a homepage. So we'll go ahead and get started. So now this is where it's gonna ask us to create a account. So go ahead and continue with Google or continue with an email. You do have other options as well, like Apple and Facebook. So I've already got an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and just log in on the top right. Okay, cool. so now it's gonna say what exactly uh, what do we want to call our website. So for the meantime, I'm just going to say it's a profile tree tutorial. It's pretty cool actually because it actually uh, changes in the background here as you can see. Um, but yep, I'm going to go ahead and just call it profile tree tutorial. Go ahead and click on next. You actually have a little progress bar here at the bottom just to show you. Uh, but anyway, we're going to have an intro section, we'll have a services uh, section, uh, we'll definitely have a form section, a footer, which we'll need, and then we'll also have an about and social. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, um, now here is the cool thing about this. So at each section, you'll see that there's going to be a way for you to change the layout. And this is pretty much just creating your own brand, as you can see. So this is changing it up a little bit as well like so. Um, now our services, I am pretty happy to keep it at that. It actually looks very professional to me. Or you could pr uh, keep it more minimalistic like this. So there's multiple ways for you to change your website layout. Um, so let's see. Probably We'll probably keep it that way because uh, we've pretty much got a nice flow going on here. Or we could do a whole one like that. Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, social, I want to keep it nice and simple, uh, so I'll probably just stick with this one. That's fine with me. And then our contact form as well, so we'll probably change that up as well. Uh, so it's like this. 
And then you could change the layout of your footer as well. So just decide, decide which way you want to go about it. Uh, the only thing that you can't change is the header. So that's one thing uh, when you're creating a website. So I'm pretty happy with how I've got everything structured here. All that uh, is needed now is to select our pages. So here we have our pages. We have an about contact services. Uh, we can add a shop, we can add appointments or course. I'm going to choose not to. We don't need that. So I'm pretty happy with the three pages that we have here. Okay. So the next section is basically just going to ask you to choose a color palette. Now, choosing a color palette is uh, very simple. Um, all that is is just choosing like what way you want to uh, set your the tone of the website. You've got four options there, which is monochromatic. You've got neutral, bright, and bold. So just do decide which one you want to go for. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to stick with monochromatic, though. Uh, it looks uh, pretty clean and tidy to me, so I'm pretty happy to just uh, keep it that. So once you're happy with your color palette, go ahead and select next. And this is where you're going to choose your font pairing. So font pairing is easy as well. So basically, you're, you've got a couple of options here, which is sans serif. You got serif, mixed, and there's a couple of different options there as well. Again, I want to keep it nice and um, simple. Uh, so I'm just going to choose the Halard Micro. And I'm going to go ahead and finish it. So that's the pretty much the easy part done, uh, which is creating a template um for wix and it's nice and simple as well now you'll have an option here which is basically going to ask you to uh personalize your website text so you can go ahead choose to skip this or you can con continue uh, personally I, I say i would uh, continue i'm going to go ahead and just uh, copy some text from here just to speed things up a little bit okay like so And on the left side is basically how it'll create that text. So you could make it so it's like um, the writing style is like neutral or you can be a little bit playful with it as well. I probably, since it's a, you know, um, a business where I want to maintain professionalism, I'm probably going to stick with something that is more professional, informative or neutral. Now, do keep in mind, if you are from uh, the UK, of course, the English is going to be in American English. So you may want to change some of the uh, text or font on this. Another way you could do so is just using ChatGPT, Claude, or any form of uh, AI tool. And then also converting the text to UK English if, uh, you know, you want to create a quick and simple website without having to go through everything. So I'm going to go and uh, select professional. And all we're going to be doing here is just waiting for the loading screen. So it, again, simple, an easy way to create a Squarespace website. Pretty much takes no time at all, uh, which is the best part or the fantastic part about uh, Squarespace. And it is a drag and drop builder, which is even better. So you can uh, pretty much just adjust or rearrange all the different elements that you have on a specific section um, if you're not happy with the way it's laid out. So this is the dashboard that's not fully loaded yet, but this is the dashboard of Squarespace. You'll get pretty much all your different uh, areas here. You can go ahead and choose the pages, the styles, assets, um, and so on. So you've got quite a lot of things to do here. And you can go ahead and edit the site. So uh, clicking on edit site will bring you to an expanded screen. And this is where you can uh, edit a section. You can edit footer, um, move things about, as you can see. You've got your different text boxes there, or different boxes. Uh, if you do make a mistake, you can just select the undo button, and that's pretty much you. So editing a Squarespace website is very simple and easy to do. So like I was demonstrating there, you can actually move this around. You'll have these blocks, as you can see, and these are the only areas that you can put them on. So. It does snap on, as you can see, uh, that little yellow line. Um, so I'll just demonstrate that again. You can see that it, it will let you know if you are centered in. Um, but of course, this uh, text box here is more located to the left side. So I'm happy enough to leave it here. I'll probably just move it down a little bit here. There. Now, with the buttons as well, you can go ahead and change the way the buttons look. 
uh, you'll have this little option here as well to just uh, edit that and you can select the edit design and you can see there you've got some different button styles now at the minute the button style is more of like a pill shaped you can go ahead and change that to a square you've got uh, rounded edges or soft edges on uh, each side there or you can create custom corners if need be now Let's just go ahead and double check this now. So around the rectangle, I'm happy enough with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it the same for this here, for secondary. And I'll also do the same. Um, oh, I'll probably just keep the tertiary the same. So this is where you're able to go ahead and pretty much just change the way the um, button looks. So you can give it a bigger outline um you can give it a different sort of style a different weight as well so if you want it to be really bold then you can as well so i'm pretty happy with that you can see there it's pretty much just uh click and clicking uh is all you're doing when you're uh, creating the changes for the squarespace website now if we scroll down here you can see here that we have a scroller um this is not coded um and it's pretty good as well and it adds a little bit more of um modernism to the uh, website itself or it modernizes it sorry so you'll see here that you can go ahead and edit this and at the minute it does say elevate your brand so it, we can change the uh, text on that if we need to uh, let's just do one here so let's just say we'll do that thing is as well is that it can be a little bit too big um we can change that with the design of course and we can just make it a smaller uh text font instead and we can also change the speed so it's pretty cool uh for how it works and then on the edges there you could see that it does go from edge to edge if we do decide that we want to fade it a, a little bit as well we can fade it in so that adds a little bit more on design as well uh, we can add background to it if we need to as well. We can add a solid color. So at the minute it is color white. Uh, I can go for a custom color if need be. Like so. So that's more like a red. There's a red there as you can see. Um, I can remove that if need be as well. I probably would prefer to just uh, leave it as is. Now the thing is as well you can go ahead and expand and um, decrease the sizing of this as well and then you can go ahead and just adjust it to wherever you want to again so i'll probably just want to make this uh, a little bit smaller because it is a little bit too big for me so there you go so just like that we've went ahead and reduced the sizing of the actual um, text box here as you can see so we'll just um adjust it like that so it looks good so there you go, that is how you would go ahead and change the different sections of the website. So again, very simple, very easy to do as well. Um, now, on adding, let's just say, elements to a particular section, the way you would do this is by selecting Add Block on the top left. So it's not adding elements, but it's adding a block. So if you click on it, You'll see that there's text, you've got image, buttons, videos, and so on. Um, all you would need to do is literally uh, click, drag, and drop. And you'll be able to add, let's just say, an image onto this section. You can go ahead and expand it, like so. And then you can go ahead and edit that and add an image. So you can actually select from... They do have stock images, as you can see. Uh, let's just do one for marketing, see if they have one. Okay, so they've got one there. I can go ahead and add that image in. So that's just a free unsplash image. Uh, just be careful, of course. Uh, maybe give credit to whoever uh, took the images if you are going to be using the free one. And make sure to fill up the alt image text for SEO. That is going to be important for it as well. Now, we can have rounded edges or quartered edges if we need to as well. So we'll just do one for the 10 by 10. You can see there that went ahead and rounded it up a little bit for us. We can also add an image effect if we need to as well. So there's a parallax version there, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, let's just see here. We'll probably do 30 and then we'll do that. You also do. You also can fill it if you need to, or you can shape 
uh, if you, you would like as well. So there's a couple of different shapes there and different ratio or aspect ratios, as you can see. Uh, for the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'll probably have that as 50. I uh, have an overlay, potentially, or probably just leave that uh, light box. Going to have a dark overlay or a light overlay. Probably just leave that as well, not necessary. So there you go. That is how that area looks. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking so far anyway. So I'll probably just exit now and let's see how this is looking. So that's how it looks for the uh, desktop view. Okay. So when you're happy, you can go ahead and select save. Um, just keep uh, clicking on save as well. If you have made some major changes, it may be worthwhile to do uh, before you continue going. So that's how uh, we're seeing it right now. Um, this is how it's looking. Looking pretty good to me. Okay. So now let's go ahead and exit and just have a look at how the site's looking. So there you go. You could see a little preview there that the, the Parallax is working as well. So we can just jump back onto it. Take a look at it again. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with how the rest of the site is looking. Um, you know, we've got the text and the branding uh, pretty much bang on. And I'm pretty happy with that as well. Probably just change out so it's a little bit like this. Again, all you would need to do if you are going to be using a custom template is just to basically go ahead and replace all the images with your own, uh, just so it's not going to show uh, the default design. And you can add sections if need be as well. So in between these, you'll see this little blue button, which is add section. And you can go ahead and just, uh, you know, use some of the pre-made uh, templates that are already here or already existing. So um, I would highly recommend to do that as well. Uh, let's just say for this background here, we'll just edit that section. And then we'll just say that the background color is going to be colored black. Uh, let's see here. So we'll go for black. Okay. So you see how that's automatically changed our uh, text, which is very simple there. And you can see now that it's got that sort of um, design uh, that continues onto the top of this section. So that's how easy it is to use a Squarespace website. Honestly, it takes no time at all. Um, if you are looking to add more pages in, it, it'll, it will be very easy. Just select the exit button there and then just select pages. And then this will give you the option then to add more pages. So you can add a blank page, page layout. You can even add a blog or store portfolio and so on. So you've got several different options here in order to bulk out the full potential of what um, Squarespace can do. So there you go. You've got blog. I'll probably just name that as blog. And then you've got that on the top now, as you can see. So you can move into different uh, pages. And assuming this profile tree tutorial will work, yep, that's now brought us to the homepage. So again, very simple, very easy to use uh, the Squarespace website. Now you'll see here as well, if we go all the way home, you'll get a couple of more uh, different options as well. The most important one will be pretty much to do with the marketing side. Marketing really is just to uh, do email marketing if you decide that you want to have like some, some form of contact form. Uh, but other than that, if you just want a brochure website, I would just stick with the pages styles and the, um, the editing the website. But overall, guys, that is pretty much how you would set up a simple, fast and quick um, Squarespace website. And that is pretty much everything that I can show you. Guys, ho hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, we'd like to know what you think. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.